So these questions are... Bum, bum, bum. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's TOS. It's always TOS. Oh, well. Looks like the first question is going to be Joan Collins. That'll be because I saw the, the term dynasty. Nothing says that uh, that it's about Joan Collins because it's, uh, it's a city question. Kind of disappointed in this, but here we go. Who played Edith Keeler, folks? Joan Collins in Dynasty. And uh, I tried to look around for the Joan Collins uh, autobiography that's behind me somewhere. I was not successful. Not that we needed to know that. So Joan Collins, City on the Edge of Forever. I haven't talked about City a lot on, uh, on the show that I can recall. It's supposed to be one of the top ten treks ever. Uh, we'll see how history pans out on this. It certainly has its moments... But, and this goes back to a 1977 essay in a, in a paperback called The Meaning of Trek. I think Blair was the last name. I'll put that in the comments below. A good critique criticizing, you know, just the role Joan Collins is as, as the sister nun who, who, who sacrifices herself for everyone else. And maybe that's a bit too over the top, but we'll leave it at that for now. Obviously, Joan Collins got away from that portrayal uh, later in, in her career. All right, next question then. Question two. Colony Gamma Hydra 4 was irradiated uh, and, and people aged prematurely by what? Oh, I don't know what did it. This is the Deadly Years. It's a fine episode where Chekhov screams again. Ah! And, and then Chekhov doesn't become old because I think he was full of so much adrenaline that he didn't have to scream, and everybody else got old. Uh, but I don't know what it was irradiated by. Gamma Hydra, and the colony, Gamma Hydra Four, irradiated and aged prematurely by what? Maybe I'm wrong on the episode. I'm thinking of something else. And of course, Gamma Hydra comes up because that's the planet from the Kobayashi Maru scenario. Maybe that's just the sector they're in. It's something Gamma Hydra Section 10. All right, I look forward to that answer. Maybe I'm totally off base. Eh, I don't know. Though. All right, Kirk in the card game. What card game did he create to distract his captors on Sigma Iosha 2? All right, well, I'm going to lead up to the answer that I could just say off the top of my head on this. This comes out of the episode of Piece of the Action. That's the Chicago Mobs of the 20 episode. Where... Hi, everybody. Uh, where Kirk attempts to trick the mobsters that are holding him hostage by, uh, by inventing the game Fizbin. And Fizbin has some complex rules, something to do with Days of the Weeks, and I, I don't know. And finally, Shatner throws down the card and does a sucker punch. It's it's a fine, fine Shatner scene. I suppose that is the Fizbin. Next question. The Capellans use a three-sided blade weapon known as what? Uh, this is from Friday's Child. One of my very favorites. Right up there with Return of the Archons when it comes to TOS. Uh, because they, they've got the great funny hats in that one. Not not as funny as a Mini R7 hat. No, no. They're, they're the, because uh, the, the Capellans not only have the hat, but they have the, a lock of hair coming out of it. It is, is awesome. Um, the Cleat. I think it, it was how uh, DeForest Kelly tried to pronounce it. I don't know what it's really called because DeForest Kelly had a real, you know, the accent sometimes words were pronounced in a particular way. Not that they were wrong, because anybody can pronounce anything they want. I'm living testament to that. As long as we understand what the meaning is, we're going to be okay. But a Cleot was the weapon. And it, and it kills a red shirt in like the first uh, first five minutes before the teaser. Oh, I love Friday's Child. I'm going to talk about Friday's Child all day long. I think I, I need an entire Friday's Child show. One day I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll do that for myself. But um, great lines in Friday's Child that have stuck with me for all of my life. Um, especially when um, after Akaar is, is, is killed. And I wish I could remember who the guy who became the next tier was. But Shatner's like, if you lead these people now, 
Make, make sure you're just, I can't remember the line now. I gotta go watch Friday's Child again, but is, if, you lead, if you lead these people now, make sure the decisions you make are in the best interest of those people. But I do remember the line back, I, which was, um, I begin to like you, Earth Man, and I saw fear in the Klingon's eye. Maybe it was Klingon. You know, that, that's that whole Klingon, Klingon thing from uh, TOS. But the Kliat, the Kliat, Look forward to seeing how it's how it's spelled when we flip the card open. Now we're back to Gamma Hydra Four again. Oh well, the hyper accelerated aging. Th this is a deadly years. But when we go back to question two, the planet also aged prematurely because the people. I, I I didn't know. I haven't watched a deadly years in, in many a years because it's, it's not one that often is is on my radar. Um, but I answered this in my, my synopsis of the episode. It's adrenaline, right? Because Chekhov was scared and frightened. That way he didn't age because his adrenaline was pumping. 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 Adrenaline. There we go. All right. Ooh, there were so many characters in, in Trouble with Tribbles. That's where the uh, Deep Space Station K-7 comes out of. Um, Commissioner Barrow was the Federation commissioner for the something-something, dealing with the Quadro Triticaline. Um, I don't recall the name of the station commander's well, I don't recall the station commander's name is the sentence I'm attempting to to bring forth. Um, so, let us find the answers. Joan Collins, again, I'm, I'll put a little wiki link to Joan Collins if any folks are unfamiliar with, with Joan Collins. I still can't find her book behind me. I'm going to find it when I'm done, I bet. A Rogue Comet. Okay, this is Deadly Years. What caused the premature aging of apparently the planet as well as the people? I'm 27 years old. I think I remember that line. Uh, so it was a rogue comet. Okay. You know, what, what can you do? Fizbin is the card game. There, there's, there've never been any Fizbin tournaments. Maybe, maybe they exist at, at, at cons. I've never been to one myself, but you know, if folks can play that Harry Potter game with the brooms that don't fly, uh, perhaps folks could 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 do some Fizbin. Uh, a Klingot, a Klingot. Okay, it's like somebody just wrote down Klingon, and and changed the end a bit. And turn the on into at, but there you go, cling out, cling, cl you say it, so, so much for me taking out, you know, the, the Forrest Kelly's accent, I can't say it in any particular way, now that I read it, it's worse, all right, adrenaline for the checkoff, Mr. Lurie, all right, Mr. Lurie, that is our round today.